WFAA TV, Channel 8, the spirit of Texas. This is News 8 at 6. And we just need to keep plowing ahead and working and chalking off these successes, and we'll get there. An impressive rocket test today near Waco keeps a Texas company on track to putting satellites in space. Good evening, and thanks for joining us this Saturday. A landmark in space history for North Texas today. A rocket engine nearly as big as those that put astronauts on the moon was successfully fired in Waco. And a Texas company is now one step closer to being a big player in the rocket business. Channel 8's Byron Harris has that story. The mammoth rocket engines that lifted the Apollo astronauts into space haven't been built for a quarter of a century. But now there's a Texas contender for biggest rocket engine in production. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. The message crackled across acres of pasture south of Waco. This rocket program is for real. The test of the second stage of the BA-2 launch vehicle went off without a hitch. A milestone toward building a rocket launcher to put satellites in space by 2002. The audience of 200 was impressed. It's just all shaking all over. It's just your feet shaking the power of it. The engine was built at the Beale Aerospace Factory in Frisco. An even larger engine for the first stage of the rocket is in the works. The whole idea comes from Andy Beale, a banker, who's spending more than a quarter of a billion dollars of his own money in hopes of developing a cheaper, better way to orbit satellites. This successful firing is a, is a milestone event for us. It's, uh, it proves the technology of our engines and the, uh, the scalability of the technology. We're just very excited. This structure gives you some idea of where this program is headed. It's 200 feet tall and is being built to test the first stage of the Beale rocket. That will be five times more powerful than the rocket tested today, the largest rocket engine ever built. The white coats are all Beale engineers. There's no government money in this project. If all goes well, the huge first stage will be tested early next year for the first flight from Cape Canaveral in two years. Byron Harris, Channel 8 News, McGregor, Texas. And 200 people work at the Beale Aerospace Facility in Frisco.